Hello. Welcome to jasonchats.com. I'm making this a little bit earlier than normal because well, I've got no particular reason. I don't know what time it is. What is it? 10 to 11. Uh, yesterday's one I did about 2 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Anyway, uh, I've taken this off for a bit, so that's my hand without this thing on. Just giving a bit of uh, a rest. It's actually hurting more than it hurt yesterday. It's weird, but uh, that's okay. Uh, last night. I felt quite down. I had a bit of a a drop in uh, mood or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I ended up going to bed fairly. Actually, it wasn't two o'clock in the morning. I did the thing. It was early the next. I went to bed fairly early, so I was in bed by twelve, I think. But I didn't have time. I uploaded this Jason Chats video from yesterday, but I wasn't able to actually share it until um, today because it wasn't processed last night. <sighs> Excuse my order. I only took my medication uh, about an hour ago, so it's, it makes me a little bit tired once I took it. I normally get a like a a second wave of uh, energy or something uh, after a few hours, but I'm planning to go to bed fairly early. So it was 11, so I should be in bed by 12 or one, I guess. So today I woke up, I had a, had a fairly okay sleep, some weird dreams. trying to think what dream I had. I had this dream where I was working in a call centre, similar to what I've done previously. And I decided that I couldn't work anymore. I needed to um, get out of there. So this, this is, there's been times when I've worked uh, when I felt, this is terrible, terrible to, it's terrible, it feels terrible to say this out loud, but there have been times when I have hated my job so much that I would pretty much do anything to avoid going in. And I do mean anything, you know, including kind of ended it all, which is just, it sounds just ridiculous, but I, I've been, yeah, quite a few times actually, where I just didn't want to go to work, not because I'm lazy, because I'm not a lazy person, even though I'm not working officially at the moment, I'm still, when I've got the energy, when I've got the, the focus, when my moods were okay, I do spend the time working on the internet stuff, making videos, uh, MP3s, promotion. At the moment, I'm into the promoting and I'm trying to organize things, trying to get the uh, sessions that I've done over the last 12 years organized. But I'm still making these videos every day for whatever reason, and I still do the, um, the hypno, hypnotic buffet every Monday. Anyway, the, I, this dream was pretty much a condensed feeling that I'd had um, of that not being able to continue, not being able to stay in that job, telling the, uh, trying to get to the human resources department to tell them that I needed more time off because I was ill again and I couldn't face going in and I, all that stuff. 
and then there was this and this human resources office is an office that I've never been in it's like a made up HR department that I've never been in but it was familiar so I think I've been there before in my dreams I have a, a tendency of revisiting old dreams and maybe other people do I've never asked anyone but there's kind of this dream world that's being created uh, over time where I revisit, uh, including, uh, let's say, a flat or a, a, an, apartment, an apartment or a home that I've never actually lived in, but I keep revisiting that place. Uh, anyway, I'll focus on this particular dream. The... Although I was trying to explain and I wanted to tell them that I couldn't go in anymore, I needed to leave, I couldn't find my way to the office because I kept going up the back stairs and not being able to find my way to the actual place, to the room. And in the process, I was chatting to other members of staff and chatting to them and making them laugh and, you know, having a you know, people that I liked. And then there was this conflict about how can I not go to work when, if I'm able to have a laugh with people, and surely I'm okay, I'm absolutely fine. I'm faking it. I'm, how can I, not, there's no illness there because I'm able to just chat and laugh and stuff in that moment, in that, at that time. And so there was this guilt, real guilt there, and trying to explain myself, but not really understanding it myself. And that's kind of what that dream was about. It was a very, it went on for ages. It was a very mixed dream. And I've had a lot of dreams around call centers and um, getting into trouble because I'm like a minute late to get on the phone, which has happened. Um, just, it's very strange uh, being told off by a team leader who is, you know, a quarter of my age or half my age or, you know, 30 years younger than me. 20 years younger than me, whatever. So it's, it's those things which I found difficult to deal with at times. Although I do believe that every, anybody should, whatever job someone's got, they should uh, it'd be based on merit, not on age. So if someone of 18 is really good at their job, then why shouldn't they be a team leader in charge of people in their 40s and 50s? It shouldn't make any difference at all. The only difference I found is I was being told off like a schoolboy, like a child, by someone who was, you know, 22 at the time when I was working, uh, you know, one of my jobs. And it was, that's, that was hard. I was 30, in my 30s, and this 22-year-old was, or 21-year-old or whatever, was talking to me like I was a kid. And that's, that's difficult, I think, for anybody, I think. I'm sure it's difficult for the other people in the team as well. Anyway, the, the, this dream was just really... It wasn't a nightmare, but at the same time, it was just not nice. It was... Uh, ugh, ugh, it was a bit ugh, you know? And there was a lot of re repetition, and there's a lot of... Uh, like being stuck in a maze trying to get to this human resources office but not being able to get there and then keep ending up somewhere else and anyway um so i got up didn't realize the clocks were going back i think they were clocks were going back last night so i had an extra hour in bed not that it really makes a difference because i pretty much sleep when I want, but I did notice that while I was asleep, I had my splint on, you know, the thingy that I just showed you, and although it's a good idea to have it on when I'm in bed, because I could lay on this and 
and I perhaps hurt it more, I noticed that it was uncomfortable and I was trying to find a way to be comfortable because it was aching as well. So, and it's something because because it's bruised as well, as well as being broken, it's bruised. Having that thing pressed against it actually makes it hurt more. Or it, it, instead of, when it's loose, that part doesn't hurt. But when it's pressed against it, it does. So, I didn't get like great sleep, but I felt better this morning. Anyway, I went onto the internet like normal, just checked everything. I had an email from Spreaker and they a few days ago they I think it was four days ago or something they said to me they sent me an email saying that my podcasts that are on there which is pretty much I think there's about 12 podcasts had been accepted by iHeartRadio which is an online uh, app where you can listen to all sorts of things but it's a very it's, it's a big got a massive audience and I thought well, that's cool but then I got an email address today and just in the last four days I think it is I've had 600 plays of my podcasts uh, just you know the, the biggest one is the sleep deeply hypnosis podcast which is where my insomnia sessions are and the second one was my Jason Newland's hypnosis service podcast, whatever, the main one that I've got all my stuff on. So that was a nice little boost to the day, to be fair. That was uh, nice. Um, it's nice to have that, just to, to know that what I'm doing is getting out there. And also I discovered something else. If any of you have got a Roku or Roku, I don't know how you pronounce it, where you are, R-O-K-U. It's basically, it's a, a USB fob thing that you plug into your telly and you can get the internet on the telly. So you, um, you can get like, uh, you can get the Netflix. Obviously you've got to be a member of Netflix, but it gives you, uh, you can access various different TVs, like catch up channels and streaming, YouTube and things like that. It's going to be different, I imagine, wherever you are in the world. I know that people from all over the world watch and listen to my stuff, so I don't know what it's like where you are, but in my country, in England, we've got BBC Catch Up, but they all you can also stream the TV live there, ITV, Channel 4, box sets, they've got lots of stuff. So even if you don't have Netflix or Now TV or uh, Sky TV or any kind of those cable things, there's so much stuff to watch that's free, um, as long as you've got the internet, of course. But I also discovered there's a, and I know that my podcasts are on a podcast called TuneIn, T-U-N-E-I-N. I didn't know there was an app on the Roku, so I clicked on, a, clicked on it and put my name in just to see if I was on there, and I was. Something that surprised me is I was listening to myself. It's always a bit weird because I don't really listen back to my stuff. Um, I'm not quite that. I don't want to use the word egotistical, but actually the real word would be professional because actually I probably could do with listening back to my stuff to make sure that it sounds okay. Uh, anyway, so... I was listening to, I can't remember what it was, I think it might have been one of the sleep sessions or uh, maybe it was a hypnotic buffet, I, I'm not sure, but the sound was really good and it was from seven months ago, so I don't know how the sound was good, but it was, it, maybe they processed it so it sounded, but it came through the TV and it sounded really, really clear and quite pleased about that so if you do have a Roku Roku or Roku TV thingy then just the app tune in it might already be already there but it's in the app section you can you can get it anyway it's free uh, on Roku and 
you can listen to my stuff on there if you want to listen on the telly. So yeah, so I am on Spotify as well, but only one of my podcasts is on Spotify. And you can get Spotify on various TV things as well, I think. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I was quite pleased. So that's 600 this week, the last four days. Imagine what it's going to be like over the next month. So I've really... Two, three, four... I've probably had about four... Four plus thousand plays slash downloads in the last week. So over all the different podcasts that I've got. So, you know, I'm pretty pleased with that. And there's still a, a hell of a lot of work for me to do on the podcasts. Uh, I'm in the process now of going through every single session audio. My main podcast, it is about 800 um, sessions, I think. So I've gone through every single one and I've started making a collection of the sleep insomnia sessions. And then I'm, I'm up, I'm just crossing them off What and make sure, and basically going onto the podcast for the Sleep Deeply sessions and I'm making sure they're all on there. Uh, I've still got about maybe 15 to do, but I've been doing that for the last couple of hours. And then the next one will be, I'll probably do chronic pain next, or no, I'll put all sleep, but, um, uh, relaxation rather. Because what I noticed is with the sleep sessions, I missed loads out because I forgot about them. They were just hidden. And because they're so far back in the past, some of them, you only, you know, with iTunes, you only get the first 250 or the last 250 sessions. Most people don't make that many sessions, to be fair. That's, you know, you'd have to be running for years and years and years, well, I suppose I have, but... If you think there's 800 and only the last 250, there's a lot of stuff that's not shown, which is why I started doing the other podcasts so that people could find the stuff and see it and listen. But anyway, that's what I've been doing is going through the whole lot to make sure that everything's available to listen to. So it's a, it's a time-consuming process and I was going to get it all ready, got my pad ready and I was going to start writing them all out and then I realised I can't write with my hand like this because it's just, I can't, can't put any pressure, I can't push my fingers together without a lot of pain. So I've basically just been doing it on it online, not online, but doing it on the computer, copy paste into a, you know, a document and then just crossing off each one that I've uploaded. And so there's a lot of downloading and uploading, downloading, uploading and ticking off and stuff. But it's definitely worthwhile and it's cool and I'm glad that I'm doing it because I'm feeling like it's getting organised and that's what I want to do. I want to be organised. When I've finished the organisation, I'll be doing that for the rest of the week or the rest of the month. Um, once that's done, and there's probably a few more podcasts I need to create uh, for some stuff that is, again, I completely forgot about. Once that's done, or once I've done the promotion and done everything kind of that needs to be done there, then I can really start to concentrate on creating new content, which is the goal, really. The goal is to reach a larger audience and to help people and to also create new material, to new content, and to keep creating new content continuously. Uh, so that's why, and I, I want to do better stuff as well. Some of my stuff is, I think, pretty good. Some of it maybe not so good. I don't know. It's, it's everyone's got their own, you know, uh, idea of what they like and. But some of it's pretty good. You know, I've been told, and uh, so occasionally I do listen to my. St occasionally I listen to an audio session, just to, uh, very like very occasionally. A few months ago, I listened to a relaxation session, and I actually did the session, lay down, 
in my chair, laid back, I listened to it and it worked. It, you know, even though it was my own voice, which is kind of strange to listen to my own voice in some ways. Um, but in other ways, I'm so used to hearing my own voice because, you know, whenever I record something, an audio, I do have to do a little bit of editing just to check, take the beginning and the end off, you know, you know, the bit where I'm gargling or making weird noises, you know, monkey noises or whatever I'm doing to prepare myself for the uh, yodeling. Sometimes I, you know, before standard stuff, you know, that's all part of the hypnotic, you know, process. So I'd like to do more, get more done, get it as much done as I can. Also put more energy into the website, but you know, to be fair, more people are just going straight to the podcasts and actually going to my website. Even though the podcasts, well, everything's linked to more. My link, my website links to everything else. So it's quite a big process. It's a bit complicated sometimes. So that's why I need to get a little bit more organized because I have a tendency of starting one thing, then starting another thing. And it gets a little bit boring sometimes focusing on just one thing for too many days in a row. You know, it's nice to do different things. It will all come together. I'm pretty sure we will all come together at the same time and it'll be great. So, uh, Walking Dead is on tomorrow night, so that's good. Took Andre for a long, long walk today. And when I brought him back, he had something to eat, like some dried food, because he, he has his wet food, like the cat food with gravy that he has in the evening, and he, has, he eats dry food whenever he wants, you know, which is actually ferret, specifically for ferrets. So he had that, had some water, and just went to sleep, and slept for hours. I got him his dinner, he had that, and he went back to bed and slept. So he's, he's walked for miles and miles and miles with his little legs, and he's not been jumping up at the radiator, not been scratching at the door to get out, nothing. So he's very content, which is exactly how I like him to be. The only thing is I don't get to see him because, you know, he came out earlier and did a wee and he was going back to his, go back to sleep. So I kind of grabbed him to give him a cuddle and stuff. And, you know, he was fine. He just gave me kisses and then he just wanted to get down again and went back to sleep. So who am I to disrupt him if he wants to sleep? The only problem is he has a tendency of waking up and wanting to be active as I'm going to sleep. But now he goes in his cage at night, I don't let him run around and do stuff anymore at night. When I'm in bed, he's in bed. So, he's starting to get used to it. He was making a fuss when I first started putting him back in his cage, but now he's getting used to it. And when I wake up in the morning, he's in his cage, I can open the doors, he doesn't even want to get out, he's just happy. And then he gets to spend 16 hours or whatever doing whatever he wants just those eight hours that he's in his cage asleep anyway i'm gonna go i plan i do have a, a hospital appointment with a fracture unit and they're gonna i think there's a specialist who's gonna look at the x-rays it's just standard procedure i think and tell me if i need an operation or you know it's like no i don't care if i do need an operation i'm not having one so I think I'm going to cancel it, cancel the appointment rather than just not turn up because according to the letter, which I didn't realise, um, the letter I got from the reception at the accident emergency, they had all this stuff saying that each appointment costs £160. Each appointment that is that people don't turn up for costs the NHS £160. And apparently that amounts to, over a year, the amount of people that 
miss their appointments and don't turn up costs the NHS £470 million. Pounds. Really? £470 million. That sounds like a bit too much. I think they might be exaggerating that. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, what do you think of my beard? My beard is growing. I seem to... I think I'm now a beardy man again. I'm just going to stay being a beardy. Um, so, that's it. Isn't it amazing? I, it's not amazing, but... I come on here and I'm just going to do a little chat. Just like, yeah, this is what's going on. Uh, it'd be boring. Nothing's happening in my life. Really, and let's just talk about what's going on and just do a daily thing and uh, whatever. I still managed to talk for like 20 minutes. 26 minutes in this case. I don't get it. I don't understand. The internet's gone off a bit today as well, so I'm going to have to contact the internet provider to... to I can't face talking to them again. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go have a good week or whatever you're doing. Um, if you want to check out my internet stuff, the hypnosis things. Andre, hey. Oh, no, he's gone, run over to the corner and he's now doing a poo. Brilliant. That's it, Andre, the one place there's no paper for you to go on. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Honestly, oh, I did. A, I did get a bit of housework done today, which is good. Um, I found a, a a unique or novel way to do washing up today. Probably using a bit too much hot water, but I could only use one hand, so it was a case of soaking stuff. And you know, anyway, I got that done. I did two loads of washing, uh, so I've washed my clothes and also washed up, washed my bed linen, so I can change my bed clothes, my bed linen tomorrow, uh, hopefully, and clean up after Andre and stuff. So, and I had a big roast dinner. My friend wrote, cooked me a roast dinner today as well. So it's yeah, it's been alright. Watched a bit of telly, watched a movie in the middle of watching another one and do the internet stuff so everything's cool be going to bed in a couple of hours that's it this is my shunday i will be making more sessions that is a promise and i do intend to do more live stuff but i just have to figure out a good time to do it I do understand that some people that watch these videos may not be interested in the hypnosis stuff. Uh, they may not be interested in the videos. I, I don't know. But uh, people are visiting jasonchats.com. You are. People are visiting this website every day, even though it's a new website. So, hello, whoever you are. And. Please return. Because these videos aren't about anything, really. It's just a middle-aged man. And there's not many of us doing stuff like this. It's you, it's mainly a lot younger people doing vlogs. And there's not that many people, I don't think, doing them the way I'm doing them in the sense of they're not on YouTube. Um, I used to be on YouTube, but I'm not really on there anymore. I don't do vlogs on there. I used to. So the only place to watch these are on my website. This website, jasonchats.com. So, yeah, it's, I'm just going to keep doing them. Fuck it. Just keep doing them and it gives me something to look back on. So when I'm 60 or 70, I can look back on the hundreds of videos I've made and probably think, what a... What a fucking waste. <laughs> what did I do? Waste my time doing that shit for? <gasps> Maybe. Anyway, 
I'm going to go. You take care. And I'll see you next time. Probably tomorrow, actually. See ya.